Hey there, this is Micah with Fireworks Plus. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can attach a Sky Lantern to a Tiki Torch to make it last a good long time. Pretty much as long as your Tiki Torch burns, Sky Lantern will last. Take it up and fluff it out. We're going to go ahead and move our little paper protector here. And I'm just going to use a pair of pliers with a wire cutter on it, but any good pair of scissors or snips will work. Go ahead and trim these on up. You can go ahead and keep this, makes a decent fire starter. Grab it back up in the plastic it came from. Alright, we're gonna pop this out. It's empty. And then it's pretty simple here. Just kind of try and keep it even all the way around. On to four sides here with the wire that's already from the Sky Lantern. Pretty much just try and make sure you're even. Give it a good little twist. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead and fill your thing up. Put some fuel in it. Pop that in there. And you've got a Sky Lantern that can last for some hours. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take this outside and we'll get a video of it up and working. Well, there we are. Some Sky Lanterns on Tiki Torches. These have been up for about five minutes. I burned a small hole in my pumpkin one so it leans to the right a little and silly me I didn't bring a spare well I'm just gonna kind of leave this up while I set up my other two sky lanterns here or three but the pink ones giving me a little bit of trouble or red I guess that colors red Now that I've gotten used to it, that's about how long it takes to get it one running if it's cooperating with you. About two-ish minutes. I'll come back to that red one later. Oh. Look at that, that was even faster this time. I can show you the hole I burned in it. Well, we'll see if I can get that red one to cooperate or 
I'll just open a different one I got here. Alright, I see why this red one's giving me so much trouble. It came from the factory with a giant hole in the top. So, I'll open up another one I got here and go ahead and hook it on up. Well, I got a green one here, so we'll go with it. Do this one. This one's slightly different. It's got it through the middle instead of through the back. So I'll just cut it straight in the middle here. got the green one hooked up I'll go ahead and get it lit here There we go. I'm going to get a little darker now so you can actually see the flames. Well, I had the pumpkin one lit first. And it's been running. Probably took me four-ish minutes to get the USA in white. And then, as you can see, it's been lit up this whole time. Once they kind of reach equilibrium, they just kind of sit where they are. Now, it does need to be a still day or night if you're going to do this. Heavy wind or even just a couple miles per hour breeze will blow them into the flame and they will just go down. And always, keep safety in mind. Keep some water nearby. 
keep them two to three feet from anything. I'd say the sky lanterns are about three feet tall, so you probably want them three feet away from anything to four feet so that they don't fall if they do catch on fire and catch anything else on fire. Well, I think I'm just going to kind of let this run a little bit. Maybe another two minutes here. And then I'll see if I can figure out how to do a time lapsey thing on my phone. Alright, well, thank you if you surprisingly watched to the end of this. Probably wasn't very exciting with no music or nothing. And just balloons. Well, sky lanterns being put on tiki torches. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. And try and get a time lapse thing working. But, 